Help wanted at businesses across Pekin. Janie Bowman joins us live in studio now to show us why some say they're struggling to even get people in the door for interviews in a story that's new at five. Rebecca, some business owners say they rarely have trouble finding workers. Now the number of applicants is down and at times they're having to close since they don't have staff to stay open. Now hiring. You'll see signs like this on nearly every corner in Pekin. The struggle is real <laughs> with everyone I've spoken with. Two Peas Pizza and Pub is no different. Normally people will come in and they like our atmosphere and our environment and they think this is a place I'd like to work. The restaurant owner says she posted on Facebook offering on-the-spot interviews on Saturday. The post was shared more than 100 times. And one person came in for an interview. The next day, the restaurant closed due to staffing shortages. A lot of people jump to the, they make more on unemployment. I don't think that's the case necessarily for us. A new employee started Tuesday. She says her coworkers were even excited. I was filling out the application process and one of the other coworkers was like, oh my God, finally, like, thank you. But Two Peas isn't the only place struggling to hire. For whatever reason, uh, we're just not getting the number of applicants like we usually do. The Pekin Park District Executive Director says it's frustrating. They don't show up for the interview, or maybe they show up for the first interview and then you go to offer them the position and uh, you know they don't call you back or um, they don't take it. And says he's not sure what's causing the shortage of workers. We do hear that other places are offering more than the minimum wage, you know, so that um, you know could be part of the issue. But he says for now the park district and its pools have enough employees to keep running. The owner of Two Peas Pizza and Pub says she's looking for people who can work 20 to 30 hours a week. She says you can stop by and fill out an application and says it's a flexible place to work. Rebecca.